positive integer powers and associated real roots. Evaluate the following. Right, before we can do any of these questions, a positive integer power is, for example, the 5 as a power of 2, because this is a positive whole number, so it's a positive integer, that comes as a power of 2. An associated real root is basically the square root of any positive number. It doesn't need to be a whole number, as long as it's a positive number, it would give us a real root. So in GCSEs, we're never going to be dealing with the square root of negative numbers anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. The first question here, 3 squared is 3 times 3 plus 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2, equals to 9 plus 8, equals to 17. Square root of 144, take away 12 to the power of 0, that's going to be 12, take away 1, equals to 11. We know that because 12 squared is 144, so the square root of 144 is simply 12. And 12 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0, in fact, is always 1. The next question, 10 to the power of 5 over 10 to the power of 4. So we have 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of 4. The bases are the same. When that happens, we can just take away the powers from each other. That equals to 10. If they were being multiplied together, so if it was 10 to the power of 5 times by 10 to the power of 4, then we would have added the powers. This is if. Let me just do some. Right. The next question, square root of 16 over 4 plus 3 cubed. That would be square root of 4, as 16 divided by 4 is 4, plus 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. So this is simply 2 plus 27, which equals to 29. We could, however, separate the square root, because this is square root of 16 over 4. We could have done square root of 16 over the square root of 4, plus 27. So that's square root of 16 is 4 over square root of 4, which is 2, plus 27. That's again, 2 plus 27 is 29. I hope you learned something here. Thanks for watching.